Hello, this is Daniel Martz, and today I'm going to be doing another comic book review. Uh, this one's going to be for Thor, issue number three, uh, When the Ice Lords Make War. Uh, so yeah, before I begin, though, 10 seconds spoiler warning. As usual, for those that have yet to actually um, read, read this comic book issue and haven't already, stop the video, go check it out, and come back and watch the rest of this review. 10 seconds spoiler warning, as usual, starting now. Okay, so 10 seconds are up, so for those who have yet to, um, have yet to actually read this comic book and haven't already, um, please don't comment down below or be messaging me that I never gave you a fair warning, as usual, I did. So, floor number three, um, when the Ice Lords make war, what did I think of it, as usual, quick synopsis, likes and dislikes, and in the rate. So, basically, we're in with the continuation of this female floor whose identity we still do not know, and yeah, um, and yeah, basically, it kind of leaves off where the last episode, uh, not last episode, sorry, last issue, um, left off, um, where you have the female floor, she's facing these two ice giants, basically, and Mjolnir, the hammer, um, got stuck in between her and the door, um, that, and the door is protecting this business owner, basically, uh, from a corporation. So yeah, Matt and Malekith, um, is revealed to be controlling the, um, yeah, Malekith, is revealed to be controlling these uh, ice giants. Um, I mean, we kind of knew from issue one and two, but here um, we see how much he's actually is controlling. Basically, um, so yeah, basically then goes to the place where um, Thor is, you know, Lady Thor, whatever, um, to explain to her, you know, what's basically going on, and then to kill her later on. Um, but and it's funny because it's just a funny scene. Um, they freeze Lady Thor, or Thor, whatever, and then one of the giants eat her, and then she escapes, um, basically killing the guy, or giant, through, you know, escaping through his belly. So yeah, there's her being eaten by a, a nice giant, and then her breaking out. So yeah, um, that was pretty cool in my opinion, uh, pretty funny, pretty cool. And yeah, uh, Malnir, the hammer, eventually does manage to break break out of the break out of the uh, doors. Um, but right before that, you, uh, the business owner um, turns into this um, giant Tauros thing, um, bull thing, well, um, Tauros. So yeah, you can kind of see it, his transformation from here. Um, regular guy in a suit, Madikith comes and confronts him. He starts to transform and then I eat Tauros. Um, he, turns, he turns into Tauros. Um, Taurus. Uh, so yeah, that was pretty funny, pretty cool. Um, pretty good action. And yeah, you know, he the, the Tauros is fighting Malekith. Um, Thor is fighting the Ice Giants. And... And then something something interesting happens, which we didn't really expect to happen. Basically, um, you know, the hammer, Maldrin, Mal, Mal, whatever, Mal, Maldrin, whatever. Um, the the hammer basically escapes the doors, which we did kind of expect that, and it goes back to um, Thor's hands. But then you have the original Thor coming out of nowhere, um, basically to help in the fight. I guess it was just weird. Uh, so yeah. Um, it came maybe in one of the more, more awkward times. Um, so yeah, and one thing I want to say about the cover, it's pretty cool, the cover's pretty cool, but, uh, see, I don't know if you guys noticed, but they kind of changed the red band, the band they normally have here from red to, like, this purple, um, type of color. It's pretty cool. If it's for the cover, the red, the red band bothers me sometimes. Um, for example, here, for issue two, um, the red band kind of bothers me. It's just kind of there. But, yeah, that's a side point. So yeah, I mean overall this issue was pretty fun, pretty cool. Um, good writing, um, good writing, uh, you know, and good art. Overall, I mean, there's nothing really special. I mean, for me, it was just a action type of comic book. But for the, for this issue, an action action issue, had some pretty good action, but you know, it was kind of just beating me over the head. It looked cool, but it was a little bit overused, um, in my opinion. So yeah, but the ending was pretty cool. Uh, having Thor there kind of confront um confront everybody there, you know, saying. You know, like what's going on you know 
Um, he says, uh, he says, unhand to my hammer woman or know the wrath of Thor, which is funny because he is no longer Thor, technically. Um, so yeah. Um, and the next issue is Thor versus Thor. Um, so that'd be interesting. Um, I mean, so yeah, I mean, it has some pretty good action, but it was just really beating you with the action, basically. It was, you no, know, it was like a little bit action heavy, action heavy. Um, so yeah, but in a, in a sense, it was kind of needed. So yeah, um, good writing, good art. Um, the ending was pretty clever, pretty interesting. Um, something we did expect at some point to happen, but you know, it's something we kind of expected to happen, we just didn't know when. Um, and I think right now is a somewhat appropriate time, in my opinion. So yeah, um, yeah, overall, it's pretty good. It does have its flaws being a little bit action heavy, but whatever. On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best, and 6 being decent, I'd give it a 7.5. Um, it's a pretty good issue. Definitely do check it out. And yeah, that's basically it for now. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I do movie reviews, TV show re reviews, and comic book reviews. So definitely do save them for that. Aside from that, comment down below on your thoughts on this issue. Have you read it? And if not, why not? And if you have what your thoughts on it, comment all that down below. Let me know. Like the video, share on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, or whatever you guys prefer. And that's basically it for now. This is Daniel Mart signing off.